you are unrealistic. You didn't get funding because you're unrealistic. And this is what I mean by being unrealistic. We go back to your, the last pages of your business plan and we find your financials. And when we check your capital, the use, the use of funds, you're saying you're looking for 1 million rand or 500,000 rands. And when we check how you'll be using that money, you're talking about office furniture. You're talking about paying the salaries. You're just, you're looking for a whole lot of money for the kind of sector or industry that doesn't even need that kind of capital to launch. So your, your, your numbers are not making sense. That's what I mean right here. When I say you're being real unrealistic. So you're saying you need 100,000 rands. And when you check how you'll be using the money, you're focused more on giving a perception of an already established business. So you, you there, when you check the use of your funds, you have your office furniture, you're talking about paying the rent for 12 months, you're talking about branded t-shirts and things like that. Nothing has been planned. you just using that money, Ngati. It's already there in your bank. Ngati, it's like, Every day, it's, it's like you're working capital. You're not using that money to acquire assets for your business. You are using that money to, for it, like when an, an investment analyst go through your business plan, your financials, what they see there is somebody who's looking for a, a, pay, a, a check to finance stuff. Like you're looking for uh, a pocket money of some sort. You are saying you want payroll. You want to pay payroll for 12 months. And on top of that, you're a startup. You're in the service business. You're in the cleaning business. You want to start a cleaning business and you're saying this particular institution should be paying salaries for your business. Why? Why should they pay salaries for your business? Unless it will only make sense if your business it has been in existence, say, for two years, right? And now you are trying to acquire more funds. So you, you, let's say, for example, you're looking for 100K to buy a new v company vehicle or you're looking to buy a new machine. So buying a new machine, it means also there will be shortage in your cash flow. The expansion of your business will put pressure on your payroll. So you know you won't be managing. Well, based on your cash flow, your business won't manage to pay payroll for the next three months. This is when you can now go to the financier to ask for a cash flow, the capital, cash flow, working capital to pay off the salaries for the next three months because your business is not managing. But if you're a startup and you're asking for funding to pay salaries, you're not, to me, if I am an investment analyst going through your application, I'm like, what will you be doing for these three years or these 12 months? Won't you be making money? Would you be working? So you're just, you're looking for security. You're looking for, 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 for an, a, a security. Why? And if you're looking for security, you shouldn't be getting into business. Because right now, what you're saying to me is that you don't want to work to make money and pay these expenses. How about if you're in the cleaning business, say, I need you to help me with inventory. I would like to buy cleaning products that I will use. I would like to get a website. I would like to get a computer. Those are the key things, the key assets that you're going to use to make money. So if you're looking for 100,000 rents and you're talking about paying salaries, how are you going to pay me back the money if what you're looking for is a business loan? You understand they won't give you because what you're looking for is like a way out. You want to have this experience of having money spending it, but you don't show any commitment to say you're going to make, you're going to, you're going to be playing your part. You know, you're going to be injecting some cash in your business. So it could be the reason why you haven't been approved for funding. It could be that when the investment analyst went through your application, what they saw was just somebody who's thinking that 100,000 rands is just grows on the trees. Because here you are, you're talking about paying the rent 12 months, paying salaries 12 months. What you, will you be doing? Won't you be making money? And if you'll be making money, why don't you just pay off those salaries? Why can't you just prioritize what's important? Instead of now, what if you're a website designer, you're in the creative space, the design space, instead of now going after funding for a rental office, this 
posh offices why don't you just go for the latest design softwares latest computers you know and then you just work from home you understand what what, what is happening so when when you apply for funding even if they say the maximum funding is 50 million rand it's, it matters how the breakdown of how those funds will be used. Even if it's a grant, it matters how that money will be used. So the people, you need to understand their investment analysts that analyze that. They're going to match assets and liabilities on how you're going to be using your money. So some of you have been rejected because the, the budget allocation of your, uh, the funding that you're looking for went mostly towards the liabilities and not the assets.